when there's two different cases going on, let's say the Crown's got a case against you, but you've got a case at Queen's Bench. Now, if you win at Queen's Bench, do they get notified to stand down, or what happens when they're pursuing their case? Okay, what, okay wait a second. If you, you just said if you, if you win a case in Queen's Bench, right? Mm hmm Who gets notified? The other side? What other side? So the state or, you know, the council or the crown or whoever wants to take a case against you. If I take the man and you then I win okay. against them. Okay, you take a man to Queen's Bench, okay. And then because you he didn't turn up. You will win against that man, okay? So you you say your your case has merit and and, and you, you your case yeah right you prevail, right? Okay. And now does that mean the man who is acting as a capacity of let's say an officer? No, he's not he's acting as a capacity of officer. He's acting as a capacity of a man. That's why he's in Queen's Bench. Okay. The reason why he's in Queen's Bench is because he acted outside of the capacity of that of being an officer. I think he's asking what happens to the Crown's case. I don't care what happens to the Crown. You just, okay. If you file a case against a man because he was acting outside of the color of the law in which he was described a certain duty and obligation and privilege to uphold, that's it. Your person is still dealing with the Crown. Okay. Now, yeah. if, I, if I get a judgment from Queen's Bench, can I take that judgment and then go into um, the Crown and then claim through their liability and say, hey, look. It might help. Done. It might help. Okay. It doesn't mean it's an automatic win. It might just say, look, in Queen's Bench, it, we, I showed that this man acted outside of the color of law. Now, did he okay. act outside of a legal ease? Maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. Outside of well, color of law? Yeah, sure. This is this is the thing that worries me, Carl, because um, if, if if everyone can win at Queen's Bench, that means the Crown can still pursue. Let's say I grew ten like marijuana ten. plants, and the police like came ten. in. So let's so let's say I grew I grew ten plants in my house. In their world, it's illegal. In my world, it's lawful. I That's prosecute right. the man. I win in Queen's Bench, but they say, well, our Crown case is still going, so we're still going to chase you. you. It would be a pretty good idea to explain to the Crown that you prevailed in Queen's Bench, which is a higher court than theirs within England. In France, you would lose with that argument, but in England, you can prevail with no problem because the judge knows that he operates in common law, even when he's, okay. well, even he's acting in well, even when he's acting in statute. He knows that the common law is above statutes in England. Uh, and how will I enforce my fee schedule? Oh, come on now. What's the schedule? Well, if, if I've, um, that I have a fee schedule for, let's say, what? Uh, for handcuffing me, for kidnapping me, etc. You No, you say that somebody made a trespass. Kidnapping is like some legalese word. Did somebody do you wrong? Does somebody owe you a debt? That's the only words I use. I don't use kidnapping. Okay. Did somebody do you wrong? Yeah. And trespass just means he owes you a debt. Okay. That's it. I don't say kidnapping. Oh, fee schedule for kidnapping? No, fee schedule for, you know, here is the amount due for doing me wrong. You did me wrong, this is what I claim is fair and just compensation. This is what I claim is due. Okay, you don't see so me. You, you don't see, when, when they took my kid, do you see in my lawsuit, my claim, do you see the word kidnapping appear? No. Did they physically take my child from me and my wife at the hospital after he was born? Yes. Technically, is that kidnapping? Yes. I didn't say that. I said what they did was a trespass. What they did was wrong. That's it. Yeah, okay. So you don't think I get you don't gotta get all fancy and colorful it's like, oh, there's a kidnapping. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, fair play. So basically, it's just a trespass. They're the wrongdoers. As soon as I get the uh, judgment, I I explain it to them. Say, listen, I'm a higher court. This is the judgment. I win. Stand down. Well, you could say I believe 
they can rule in my favor. You, you don't tell anybody to stand down. I don't know who you, I don't know who you, you little Lord Fulton think you are. You don't order anything from any man, and you don't ever act above anybody, and you, this is what's getting you guys in trouble, is they're giving you orders, and now you think you're going to turn around and you're going to give them orders. And this is what causes, like, what you, people would call anarchy. Once you guys think you got the big boy pants on, you guys think it's a fair turn, a fair play to start turning it and, di- and dishing it back to them. And then they're going to get stronger, and they're going to dish it back to you, and then you're going to get stronger, and you're going to dish it back to them. And it's never going to end. Mm. Somebody's going to have to stop and say, look, you know what? We're all just going to have to effing get along. Yeah. Or we're just going to be constantly battling with each other. I'm not here to make anybody a little millionaire. I'm not here to help anybody make a ton of money. I'm just yeah. here to tell people, look, all I want them to do is let me alone. You stay back in your two-dimensional world. When I need you, I'll let you know. Stop trespassing in my third-dimensional world and stop stressing out my man. Stop stressing out my body. Stop stressing out my, my, my thoughts, my hopes, my dreams. Get out of my life. Let yeah. me be. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to go to war with these this, this, the second dimension. Like, I hear a lot of people doing that over in England. Like, you got people like, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember that guy in Liverpool. Nice man, Roger Hayes. But he's trying to go to war with the second dimension. That's like, I like the second dimension. I use a plastic card and I fill up my car with petrol. I'm fine. <laughs> he wants a, he wants people to take all their money and give it to him. He's going to destroy all the money and he's going to create a new currency based on silver gold. Look, I like the way the I like the way the economy is. I, I, I'm fine. I go to work. They give me green pieces of paper. I'm I'm a happy guy. I don't got to carry ten thousand pounds of rice on my back to go buy a dozen eggs anymore, like my grandfather used to do. I got cash. I got a plastic card. I want my children to have easy access to credit. I want my children to have easy access to loans and mortgages and banks. I don't want this third world country. Okay. It might be a little rough. It might be a little tough. They might have just went a little too far. And it's our duty to bring them back a little bit. But not to throw them under the bus and destroy the whole you know, economic system that took hundreds of years to build. Okay, it might need some tweaking, but just tweak it, man. Don't destroy it. Okay. And believe um, me, the guy, the guy Bali, I helped down in England. Do you understand how embarrassing that was when he, when they started reading out his fee schedule in open court? Do you have any idea how embarrassing it was sitting next to him, charging? He was charging them like two hundred and thirty-one thousand pounds for each uh, person of the council, like twenty people. Uh, a day, so it's coming out to like eighteen trillion eight hundred seventy-six billion. Be- because they walked on his farm and took some photos. <laughs> it's starting to get silly. And thank God the judge. That's how he won the day because the judge said there was not one person at council that responded to this man's threats. Did they? No. Why? Because you all know he's an idiot, and there's no way in the world he could possibly carry the day with this silly nonsense. And they're like, right. So he's done no wrong. Because nobody believed that he his threats were serious. So when you guys put all these silly fee schedules in, they're looking at you like, okay, how are you going to carry it off? Just like you asked me. Oh, well, well how do I enforce my fee schedule? I said, what, what do you charge them, like $10 trillion? Because they uh, uh, gave you a speeding ticket or told you you can't park here? If you're reasonable, the jury will be reasonable as well. Say, so, well, that's fair. But you start coming up with these crazy fee schedules of $28 billion, and the jury's going to look at you like you're crazy. If it's a reasonable amount, if it's a reasonable amount, the jury will award you. But I'm saying some of you guys get crazy. Okay, that I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just giving my friend directions. We're on, a, we're on a motorway over here, so I'm just giving my friend directions. I said keep left. Keep left, man. He's going on the wrong lane. That makes sense. So as long as as long as the figures are reasonable, nothing outrageous like all the right. free man. What I try to do, what I try to do is if a cop gives me a ticket, like let's just say for less, let's say a cop gives you a ticket for fifty fifty quid. I give yeah. him his fee schedule be fifty. 
So it's basically a wash. So it's basically nobody wins. No hard feelings, nobody wins. And next time he sees me, they're not even going to waste their time taking a court to me because they're not going to get any money. Okay. So it's so better to just play even. even. It's, it's better you to play even so they know not to. Right. Did you ever see, like, the invoice pad I made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When he gives me a ticket, that's the amount of money I put down. The same amount, dollar for dollar. Or, or pound for pound, or quid for quid. Or sterling for sterling. So that way it's a wash. And the judge will get a good laugh. And the judge will laugh. And uh, the cop will be kind of like, why am I wasting my time giving people tickets if we're not going to make no money? And then hopefully his supervisor will say the same thing. Why are you wasting time giving tickets when when they come to court? We're not going to win. We're not going to lose. Nothing's going to happen. We've got to figure out a new way to make money because these people are figuring it out. Okay. All right. Hi, I don't, Carl. I don't, I, don't want, I don't want that cop to pay me any money out of his pocket. I just want that cop to let me alone. Go, yeah. catch some bad, go catch some bad guys. Go catch some rapists. Go catch some murderers. Leave me alone. Can what I about, cut in here for a second? Is it free at Queen's Bench, or is there still a fee that you have to pay to get your case heard? No, what, what that, that, that quote that I put there on the paperwork, where it says that the right to Queen's Bench is free to the people and the, as well as to the king? Okay, so it's always free at Queen's Bench, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's in Blackstone's commentary. I don't know what the number is right off the top of my head, but it's in Blackstone's commentary. If you want me to... Uh, uh, send you the uh, actual uh, just, just write me just write me an email and put on the subject line five six seven uh, 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 Queen spent free on a subject line okay. and I'll send it to you. Nice. I you said that was thought you said that was Tomlin Law Dictionary. Blackstones. Blackstones commentaries. Blackstone, Blackstone is basically how England runs. England runs on Blackstones.